everyone. So my original project was instant photography. So right now I'm actually going to take a photo of all of you. So everyone smile. One, two, three. So by the end of my talk, this will be a completely developed black and white image. So as you can see, my original project was instant photography. Like many of my peers, my project didn't turn out perfect, but I did learn many lessons along the way about photography and many life lessons. In my life, I feel that I've learned many lessons from my teachers, friends, and family, but rarely from myself. When Ms. Funk first introduced us to 20 Time, I was so excited about this project because this was an opportunity to learn something new about myself. Throughout the project, I learned three main things about photography, which were about cameras, film, and about general instant photography. I also learned an additional three things about myself from this project, which were about passion, that some things were complicated, and to do the fun projects first. So the first thing I learned about was cameras. So first of all, traditional cameras are very complicated. In March, I built this camera from the start, where I had a lens, and a kit showed me how to make a light tight chamber around it. After making the camera, I also learned about many other factors. A camera has three components for taking a picture, plus the film is a whole other matter. So the first component for taking a picture is the lens, which helps focus the picture and makes it blurrier or clearer. The second component is the aperture, which allows the amount of light into the film. And the third and final component is the film speed, which goes from so slow to fast. So finally, all three components you need to take a picture are the uh, lens, aperture, and film speed. So after learning about the camera, I also learned about film. So first of all, there are four different types of film. Those four are black and white, color, slow film, and fast film. I learned about these different types of film by watching many manufacturing videos, which taught me about the different layers and negatives. After learning about film, I next learned about general instant photography. So one of the main points I came across when learning about instant photography was that tr traditional photography was much more complicated than digital photography. For example, today's uh, phones and cameras take images very easily, and they are very shareable. For instant photography, however, while the image does come quickly, it is very hard to share with people unless they are right there. So overall, I learned many things about photography, specific, uh, specifically about the camera, film, and instant photography. In the spring, I took a bunch of black, black and white photos. So here's a picture of my dog, and here's a picture of my friend's hand against a mirror. So this knowledge that I learned earlier really helped me when taking the photos, but there are many things about my project that I wish I could have done differently, which were coincidentally the things I learned about myself. These were passion, that some things are complicated, and to do the fun projects first. So in the beginning of my project, I had a lot of interest in photography. I wanted to know how it works, and more importantly, how to take great images. So I, re I originally started instant photography because it was a blend between traditional and digital. I also chose instant because my dad had introduced my brother and I to it when we were little, and he had the materials too. So about halfway through my project, I started getting bored of photography. It seemed almost dreadful to work on my project throughout the weekends. <laughs> and I came to a point where I realized that when I do a project again in the future, I need to have passion for the long haul. <laughs> so after this realization, I next learned about complications. So in the beginning of my project, my dad wanted to teach me a lot about photography. So I had a huge outline that I quickly realized I wasn't going to be able to accomplish. <laughs> so. Um, additionally, in this outline, there was not much room for failure or creativity, so when that did occur, I was set back in achieving my goal. So even though I did have a good approach, all of these setbacks slowed me down, and I ended up feeling overwhelmed. So in the end of my project, I wish I could have had a project that was more a balance of learning and doing, because I might have had a better time. <laughs> so after learning about the complications, I next uh, realized that sometimes it's better to do the fun projects first. So in my outline, as I mentioned before, I took photos in the spring and learned about photography in the fall and winter. In the end, I wish I, realized, I, wish I had taken pictures in the spring because it was kind of hard to stay focused when I took the photos later on. So from that, I concluded that sometimes it, the order in which you do a project can sometimes affect the lifespan of that project. So overall, I learned many things about photography and about myself from this project. Uh, I wish my project had been a more balance of learning and doing because I might have had a better time with it. So this is one of my favorite quotes. 
So it's, life is like a camera. Just focus on what's important, develop from the negatives, and if things don't turn out, just take another shot. So this quote was really something I was trying to capture in this speech. I hope from my talk that you learned a little bit about photography, that some things can be really complicated, to have passion for the long haul, and to do the fun projects first. So here's the picture I took of you in the beginning of my talk. And, <laughs> and I hope for today you can walk away having changed since this photo was taken because all you've learned from me. Thank you.